Hey guys, hope you're having a supremely spoopy Halloween. I'm Harry Potter. And you're watching Inform Overload. If you don't want to be cursed by the ghost of Keemstar's self-respect, make sure you hang around till the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of my favourite comments and doing some spells. Let's go. So, over in the town of Hull in the UK, over the past year, multiple sightings have been reported of a large werewolf-like creature roaming the industrial area surrounding the town and more specifically, the area of the Barmston Drain. Locals have reported seeing a creature which resembles half man, half wolf, and prowls the banks of the drain. Described as tall and hairy and incredibly terrifying. There are some people who believe that this beast of Barmston Drain could in fact be sightings of legendary Old Stinker, a werewolf who is said to stalk the Yorkshire lands, whose sightings date back to over 200 years ago. One of the most prominent sightings involves a woman who said she saw the creature mauling a German shepherd to death, and then proceeding to consume it before jumping away over an eight-foot fence of its prey in its mouth. Scary. Maybe if we ask nicely, this thing could do something to reduce the crazy killer clown population that's been causing problems lately. Because send it over to the States to wipe them all out? Let's hope it likes clown meat. Akio chocolate. In another sighting, a woman in her car with some friends claimed she came across a beast with a human head walking towards them on upright legs in the middle of the road through the town of Horsham, East Yorkshire. I mean, it could have just been a supremely hungover hairy person who'd parted a little too hard the night before and woke up in a field. But I think the idea of a werewolf is much more fun. A little bit like Remus Lupin. Love that guy. What a great, what a great character. For those of you who might not know, a werewolf is considered to be half man half wolf creature, with the ability to shapeshift into a large wolf like creature with incredible strength and agility. Many legends maintain that a human werewolf will unwillingly transform into their wolf form during the light of a full moon and that they can only be killed using a silver bullet. Being bitten or scratched by a werewolf can pass the infliction on to a normal human and for them to become a werewolf just like their attacker. Most legends maintain that werewolves live normal lives in a time period between full moons but then on the nights of a full moon go on wild rampages in an attempt to feed their animal hungers. So watch out for those. Stories of werewolves date to as far back as the times of Petronius, around 50 AD. Expecto Patrona! <laughs> Yeah, that's a long time ago. On this topic, guys, I'd like to know, what would you rather be, a werewolf or a vampire? I personally think I might actually be a werewolf. A few nights a month, I wake up in really weird places with very little clothing and absolutely no idea how I got where I am. Scary. Dr. George, a researcher who spends a large amount of time researching into werewolves and the history and reasoning behind their sightings says, Old Stinker is thought to inhabit a landscape which sure some of the last wolves in England. I argue that he represents our collective guilt at the extinction of entire indigenous species. Hull and the Yorkshire area are thought to have been the home of some of the last wolves native to the UK countryside, which are now obviously extinct. So perhaps it is no mere coincidence that this is then the location in which sightings of an apparent werewolf have recently been emerging. Until we get some real photographic or video evidence of this creature, we can't know for sure what it is. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video guys, now let's read out some of my favourite comments. First up, Geo asked, potentially the most difficult question I've ever been asked in my entire life, and that is, would you rather kill young Hitler or save Harambe? Like, where do I start? <laughs> do I go ahead and kill young Hitler and potentially save millions and millions of lives? Or do I stop one tragic death of the hero we all needed, but didn't want? I personally feel like that in killing a young Hitler, I could be really messing with the time-space fabric and change the entire future of the world. Maybe for the worse. I mean, yes, lives would be saved, but in doing that, I could be saving a potential hundred more people who could grow up to be worse than Hitler. I could even prevent Harambe from ever existing. So much to think about. I think I'd save Harambe. It would probably have the least effect, and I just don't want to mess up the world even more. I'm sorry. Next up, the at cat meow asked. Would you want a laser puppy or a laser kitten? Laser puppy, no questions. Sorry, not sorry. I had one last spell. What should I do? Avada Kedavra! So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget, leave me some nice questions below. Peace.